What's good everybody, it's your boy Cedric. Welcome back to the studio. I've been looking forward to this episode for over three months. I am so excited to be checking out the brand new Sonic extensions from Spectrasonics. I just got my hands on these, I'd say, a few days ago. I did get to test them out over the summer. I was fortunate enough, lucky enough, blessed enough, and beyond honored to work with Spectrasonics over the summer. And like I had a small part, like very small part, in showcasing and demoing these extensions to the producer community. You can check that out on the Spectrasonics YouTube channel. For real, what an honor, what a blessing to work with such an amazing company. Meeting EP and his whole team was a dream come true. I wanna talk about that experience in the next episode. Today, I wanna to focus on the extensions. I know one video is not gonna be able to cover it all. Today's episode is just a quick overview, but I'll be sharing a lot more specifics on these extensions in the future. So let's get into it. So I got Omnisphere loaded up. Now you do need Omnisphere to access Sonic extensions. They work with Omnisphere, but it's kind of like they're a whole different instrument. Once you've purchased and downloaded these extensions, to get quick access, go to the directory up top, go down to the Sonic extensions, and the four extensions are Nylon Sky, Seismic Shock, Unclean Machine, and Undercurrent. I was able to really dive into Unclean Machine and Seismic Shock. Had a lot of fun with Nylon Skies, haven't used it as much, and Undercurrent, I didn't really have the chance to dive into it. So let's start with Unclean Machine. I could do a couple videos on this extension alone. So as soon as you load up a patch or preset, depending on the instrument you load up, you might get knobs, you might get faders, but you're always gonna have these scenes at the bottom. What these scenes do is give you different versions of the patch you've loaded up. And I mentioned this, I'm not a producer that likes to sound design. Now I wanna get into it someday, but typically when I open up Omnisphere, I wanna get to work, I wanna produce, I wanna be inspired. Now, with these extensions, you typically find like a really cool sound, but you can also tweak it and modify it. And it's just so easy to do. Navigating these extensions is super user friendly. I can easily go through different scenes by clicking left or right, and I can load up another patch by scrolling up or down. You don't have to click enter. You don't have to use your mouse. I love that. And what's even more impressive is you can easily MIDI map any of these knobs to a keyboard. So to MIDI map, all you gotta do is click on MIDI CC Learn, do that. And then I'm just gonna use a fader on my keyboard. And just like that, it's MIDI mapped. You know, it's just, it's that simple. It's it, it really takes no time. So now, as I'm playing an instrument, ooh, let me adjust the reverb. And you can see it, it didn't take long to MIDI map. Another great feature is you got so many amazing effects within the instrument. So like, take a listen to this wax. You know, you can add crackles. You got drift. gonna MIDI map these effects to the knobs on my keyboard. So now as I'm playing, I can make adjustments to the effects. And this is just one scene. And by the way, if I really like this scene, what I can do is go to this free scene and I can capture. Now all the changes I made are now stored in this free scene. So I can go check out other sounds and other patches and then go back and it'll still be there. So that's super dope. And I can still use the faders, I can still use the knobs and make adjustments. For someone that's not a sound engineer, being able to customize the sound and make modifications is just super easy. So that's pretty dope. Let's check out some sounds and patches in Unclean Machine. Oh man, I love this. Hey, uh, 
you can do a lot with this. I can adjust the high cut and low cut. Turn up the crackles. And we got a whole different sound. Now the drift can make some big time changes. It's really drifting or if we can, we can just turn that off if we want. Increase the reverb. Come on, that is crazy. You know, if I turn down the high cut, we can go really lo-fi. It's just so easy to come up with some different version of these patches and they sound amazing. Come on, bro. This is ridiculous. Are you serious? I can speed that up. Let's go with... Uh... All right, let me show you how I make this sound super dope. The great thing is anyone can do this. Turn down the high cut. Turn up the hiss. Honestly, I'm just freestyling. So we got. I'm just gonna tweak the decimation, turn that more towards the low. Whole different sound. Man, that is so nasty. And again, we can make so much adjustments. I can turn down the release. Oh, that's a nice little echo in the back. That is crazy. What's this grit? Turn on an octave. Again, this is just one scene. Woo! Mm. What's this deeper sub? Hey. Turn up the release. Nice. Man, how can you not be inspired by these sounds? There's just so many to go through. And honestly, I'm just scratching the surface. Crazy. Listen to the mechanics.
All these scenes are fire. Ooh, that phaser. The custom controls really help. As soon as I play the keyboard, I can hear that the attack is slower and the custom controls show me that right there and I can just make that modification. There's so many sounds to choose from. It's, it's really exciting, you know? Ooh. Listen to this flute. <laughs> and I can make modifications to the attack or release, take down the reverb. Try a different scene. That's crazy. That sounds beautiful. I've been playing around for like an hour and honestly, yeah, I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> I don't even think I've done it justice. There's, there's just so much you can do. Making modifications to the effects. There's sonic extension effects. So every extension comes with specific effects. Let's check out um, Seismic Shock. Seismic Shock was the first extension I got to play around with. And I was just so amazed with all the sounds. And like I said, these are just quick demos. There's no way I can show you guys all my favorites in this short amount of time. But uh, let's check out a few of these sounds. <laughs> Come on, son. Hey. Oh, it's Polly. And listen to this pump action. So the pump action lines up with the BPM. So um, if I play the same beat. I can even MIDI map the rate. So I'll just do that with the fader. And now anytime I adjust my fader on my controller, I can just adjust the rate. For someone like myself that's really diving into electronic music, this is a godsend. Uh, I'm so excited to play with this. Here's another one. Oh, I'm having way too much fun. Crazy. love moment of truth because you go from something really soft turn up the mod wheel totally crank it up so impressed on the pump. Ooh. Yeah, 
that's crazy. Turn up the mod wheel. So that's Seismic Shock. Let me pull up Nylon Skies. Nylon Skies is a guitar extension. Great sounds as well. Listen to that echo. And I can control that echo as well. I can turn down that delay. I can turn up the realism. got high and low controls. I'm gonna turn up the realism. I like the realism like so much. I definitely need to dive more into nylon skies. I absolutely love the guitars. And then we have undercurrent. And if I had zero experience, which I don't have any experience with scoring, I feel I would be so confident with this extension. The sounds are just so epic. And when I was in Pasadena with the Spectrosonics team, this is the first extension I heard. And I just wanna show you a few sounds and then I'll dive into it in more detail in the future. Man, I hear this, I'm thinking like some action movie some suspense movie. Oh, that's nice. Could probably adjust the attack. transitions too. This is sick. Come on, bro, give me someone, please send me a movie to score. Could be a total train wreck, but hey, if you're willing to try, so am I. So that was just a quick overview of the Sonic extensions. And I probably showed you guys only five to 7% of what this extension can do. I can't wait to dive into more sounds, 
more effects. It's so easy to find great patches and great sounds, and it's even easier to customize them. And that's something I look forward to doing and sharing on the channel. There is plenty more coming up in the near future. So if you haven't already joined the Sweet Scale family, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. Your boy Cedric, appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the future.